What's going on YouTube? Coach Marcus Hodges here with Separation Team Basketball, and we're going to talk about creating separation. Now, there are a lot of ways to create separation in the game of basketball. You have stop separation, you have jump separation, you have being physical separation, but today we're going to talk about just your footwork. We're going to go into detail on pull separation, and we'll talk about the step back, and we'll talk about the pull, and also give you the differences between the two. James Harden's made it real popular, and then now players have been able to experiment with different moves, different sets of footwork to create more space to give them uh, more options to attack, and also be able to get the shot off. Some you don't want to miss. You already know, man. Let's get it. All right, so here's going to be the step back. I'll get at an angle so you guys can understand. So imagine I'm attacking the basket. When I get into a step back, my front foot or my inside foot as it steps here, this foot actually comes back and I push off this foot for a step back separation. Now pull back, as I'm on a drive, let's say once again I'm in this same stance, I'm actually now being able to lift this foot up and I'm pulling back. So it's gonna be a slower move, but it's gonna be something that I'm gonna create more space on. So notice how the step back, I'm here, boom, I can get into my shot, a pull back, I'm here, and I'm pulling back for more space. Notice on the pickup timing, I wanna pick that ball up as soon as my last foot hits the floor in rhythm to get that shot off. So that's gonna be the difference between a step back and a pull back. Now, how do you do your pull back? How can you work on a pull back? Right now, we're gonna focus on ball side foots forward. We'll get two to three dribbles, and as I go, I'm pulling the ball back. I'll walk back forward here. This is just gonna be the foundation of being able to pull back. Take that punch or that pound and pull back. I wanna make sure you guys see this. I'll have just that punch and then pull back. So here's my footwork of being able to understand pull separation. Notice it's not really quick, but I am creating a lot more space than I would on the step back. All right, so here's gonna be a quick breakdown as well. Now I wanna get that lateral pull separation. So imagine I have my turn dribble, I wanna turn the ball outside my frame. And when I turn the ball outside my frame, I'm pulling once again off this foot. I'll pull away and I'll get into it for my shot. Right now we're still focusing on the footwork, so we won't get into that shot. I'll just have that turn, boom. Turn, one, two. Notice how that foot crosses my body. A nice crawl step. But I'm being able to pull away for separation. That right there is gonna be my pull separation, but it's gonna be more lateral, not going away or uphill from the basket. Right now we're coming downhill. Once I get to the nail, I'm gonna have that turn dribble and I'll pull. Right now I'm trying to just exaggerate how much separation can I get. So imagine tacking right at the nail. Can you create enough space to get outside the elbow for a shot? Remember, focus on your pickup timing as well. Don't pick that ball up too early. Now we're going to more of a punch stop as I drive to the basket, I'll punch. Remember, step back his front foot, pull back, creating space. Once again, hanging that ball. So I wanna get into some, some different punch stops for you guys. Punch, I'll get that stop separation, then I'll pull back. Now as I'm driving, imagine my defender's on my inside hip. So once again, I wanna use that footwork. I wanna pull away, so I'll go right left, but imagine that shot's not there. So as I pull away, he's starting to close out that gap. Now as I land right left, that left foot hits, boom. I wanna dribble, step around, and be able to get to the rim. So now we're using that pull separation to get away from the defender as I'm driving, not so much stop, and then attack. So he's on my hip here. I'll pull, boom, get to the basket, have that finish. That right there is gonna be our pull separation, being able to pull away from that defender, either laterally or going uphill 
Once again, it's a, it's a tough set of footwork, understanding when to use it. That step back, it's a lot shorter amount of space, but it's a lot quicker. And as we know, as we get more elite, the game gets faster and faster and faster. But to be a complete basketball player, I wanna make sure you have that quick step back, but you also have that more elongated pool separation space to attack the basket or to get behind that three-point line. If you like today's video, let me know in the comments. Let me know also what you wanna see. Don't forget, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You already know, man, Coach Marcus Hodges. Let's get it.